This is the new old <laughs> wheel uh, I've got, which is actually an 18 inch rim and it has got the speedo drive bit on here. This bit does need a little bit of um, tidying up. Well, it's been wellied with a screwdriver or something at some point. Um, yeah, that's. Yeah, I wonder why that's on that side. That's to tighten it up that way. Perhaps someone's trying to do it the wrong way. <clears throat> yeah, that is. That's on the tightening side. Yeah. It's weird. But at any rate, um, yeah, so I'll get this off here. Do a little bit of tidying up inside. I can probably see it better off actually. against there you can see there's a couple little bad bits in there I'll just dress them out give that a little bit of a paint and uh, I'll be ready to go and uh, I've got a speedo drive as well uh, not exactly the right one this is a BG5330 stroke 168 it's the right direction and right um, ratio I think the difference is with the spindle size but um, that's too small I can just um, bore it out that's no problem so I've got that ready to go I've got also got a speedo cable um, got a tire to go on here as well yeah, and this has had the bearings replaced at some point I don't actually need these bits in here with a felt washer and that um, that one will ping out no that one won't come out but let's see from that side it's got new sealed bearings or newish and they do feel okay so run with them now SKF look at them in there yeah I mean the rim isn't quite as good a condition as the other one but like I say that is an original one where are we on the side Jones Jones rim and that is an 18 WM318 uh, yeah so we're gonna go with that so the first thing is Get that dressed up a little bit better and a bit of paint on it front wheel is in I think that is looking okay only thing I did have a <laughs> bit of a quandary about was these brackets which way up they went uh, these top fork uh, stay uh, fork stay mudguard stay brackets um, you can see there's an angle there I've been looking at old pictures on the internet some show it down <laughs> this end some show it up so I've sort of gone with the majority and put it down. That's also the way the parts book shows it, although that's not always correct. But uh, yeah, so that's 1969-1970 forks with these particular types of um, brackets on the looks of it. So I've got to make sure I order the correct um, correct stays. For that yeah and I've just put a couple of uh, cable ties around these gaiters because they are a little bit on the large side they're not split or anything so they're perfectly okay to use they were just a little bit big so 
They're probably the wrong ones, but they will do for now. Um, I've got the fork oil in. Got these two new top nuts. I'm just waiting for washers to go under there. They're much better than the other ones. The other ones were um, not very good at all. Yeah. Oh, I don't really know how in shot then. <laughs> yeah. Much better. Yeah, so front end is getting there. Um, I've got the rear wheel to do. I've just been spraying up the Speedo um, hub drive bit. I'll let that cure, that can go back on. I've got to get the tyre on, the rear wheel, and then that can go in. And that'll be a bit more secure then, although well, it's not too bad at the minute. Because I think what I really want to be doing is getting the gearbox in to see if I need to get any additional shims um, for the lay shaft. I need to get that in and see what the end float is like on that. Um, I think I probably could do that. I'd like to get that out of the way a little bit. Yeah, get that there. Take that down again. I can probably do that. I might even move this back. Might be the next thing if I can prop the rear end up a little bit. Yeah, so coming along. Got my tyre fitted and, uh, I did reuse the old tyre clamps, grips, whatever they're called. Um, I needed to balance this, so I don't know what that's going to be like. Um, I've reused the locking ring because it was missing out of this new hub I got. Uh, reused the left hand locking ring. Yeah, so that's pretty much ready to go in. Uh, I've just got to do a bit of sorting out with some spacers. That's the only thing because obviously I've got a bit of a mi mix and match going on here um, Got the hub on um, And the torsion bar there There was a yeah, this is a little bit confusing in here that spacer there if you look on the parts mat, parts book uh, so this is the 1965 QD wheel which has um, got the got no speedo drive on here that spacer there shows it on this side in actual fact should be there between that outrigger and the brake disc plate, brake, brake plate. Doesn't show it there for some reason, it shows it over there. I only found that out because um, I had a look on some of the forums and it did say that this is actually the left hand spacer. There's another one, so they call a collar there. For this end and then obviously you've got the distance piece there but obviously because I'm fitting the speedo so it's the 1965 one there and the speedo is off the gearbox and because I'm fitting the speedo here I've got to do a couple of either make or get a couple of spacers for this end there's one that goes behind the speedo drive and this one goes that side, just to, just to clamp it. So I'll probably have to make. I probably will make those, um, especially that one. Just an internal one, so it doesn't have to be plated or anything. Um, but I might just get one of those, a stainless one, um, for there. But yeah. So coming along. Um, I think I might just get the wheel on um, 
and test fit the speedo drive which is in here. Which is an MGO one. Okay. I did get a second hand one or pre owned one but it was actually knackered the um the drive ring in there, the gears were almost completely worn away, so that wasn't doing anything. Um, I did have a look to see if I could find them, but you can't. So yeah, that one I have just pressed it back together now, but yeah, the little gear ring, the inner ring that goes around there, was actually no good. So in the end I just bought a new one right so yeah so that I've got a test fit uh, get the wheel on make some spaces and that will be the rear end done or the rear wheel done at least uh, yeah I did just wind the spindle in uh, just to make sure it was clamping up to this swing arm which it is so that can now come back out um, and uh, yeah I'll just try the wheel in there that wheel is in um, I did just have to find some seamless tube then lying around, the only thing is that's only 25 mil. These really need to be, there's one there and there's one inside here. They really need to be 28, so I shall get some more material. Well, I'll either make some, get some more material, make some, or um, see if I can get hold of some of the right size, because they didn't actually work out to be the, the size that was mentioned in the book. Uh, the one on the inside is 21 mil, and this one is 20 mil. Um, whereas the ones on here are supposed to be 16, well, that one anyway, 16 mil deep, which is that's nowhere near um, that sort of depth. The um, I wasn't packing the speeder drive out enough. It's too much too shallow. So yeah, I don't know where these sizes come from, but you know I'm doing a little bit of mix and match here, so it's probably just to do with that. Um, yeah, where the the inner spindles are slightly different on the two different types of wheel. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what this one is off or the other one come of that because I think the other ones are 65 but um, yeah but anyway it's in there now um, so I can at least drop it and I can get the gearbox um, plug in now which I forgot to put in the engine uh, I can just lower it on that um, yeah, so that's going to be the next, oh, we'll get to check the balance as well. Just got to check the balance on the wheel. Um, so I'll probably just take that off again once we've got the gearbox plug in. But, uh, yeah, it's starting to look a little bit like a motorcycle should do. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I just turned this new bush up to replace this just plain bit of tube that I was using which was just resting on the end of the inner of the spacer where it is there in the centre that was just resting on the top of that so I've just turned this one up which has got a inner 
or an extra long piece which will go right down onto the face of the bearing on the end of the bearing there so that will sit in there it's also wider than that one and uh, therefore just got a little bit turned in there so it will fit in there nicely so sorry fit in fit in there fit in that little ridgy bit there quite nice so that part can go on there like that and uh, I'll see spindle will go through there so I just now need to make another spacer here um, out of that same material um, you know just so I've got a bit wider because I use the same sort of stuff too just to make a trial fit spacer um, but that isn't really wide enough for here this slot here that only just sort of it probably would be okay but I mean, it obviously only just goes either side of the uh, either side of the slot there's not a lot of meat there to for it to grip onto so I'll make a new one of them to go in there and that will need to be painted that one doesn't really matter. That can be, I'll just sort of put some grease on it and that'll be fine. Yeah, so rear wheel has come along. I've also balanced that. I had to use some quite large weights on there. Because um, obviously I've got the tire grips on there. Uh, yeah, so that's balanced that perfect there. That's Probably would have been okay, but um, better to have it balanced, I guess. So this can now go back in. Try and get it lined up somewhere. Like that. And then this one will just go in here which is quite a tight fit knock the paint off it <laughs> or off the speedo drive best way it brings in bottom or top tighten this right up because I've um, got to get the chain and everything on there as yet and adjust that all up so I'll just nip it there now I have a speedo drive um, oh yeah and these are the I did just balance this wheel um, yeah I had to put quite a bit of weight on it because it's got these uh, tyre clamps on here which are quite heavy old things um, yeah so that's all 
properly balanced now and yeah once you get the chain on there I can adjust that up and that'll be that end done